What if I tell you that you can earn crores of rupees, multi-million dollars, that too from US, UK clients, European clients, sitting in your bedroom just by using your bioinformatics skills? Well, in pajamas. I think it's a win-win situation. Stress-free work, but you're earning in dollars. Spending in rupees, staying in India, I think this is a dream come true. But what if I tell you that your bioinformatics skills can do all of this? Well, that's the best part. So today's video is all about how to use your bioinformatics skill set to earn crores. What say? Wanna watch? Let's jump in. Now, the first things first. Skills matter, right? So what qualifies me to make this video? That's the first question to be asked, right? So we learned bioinformatics. I myself learned bioinformatics. And then we jumped in. We have a big team of bioinformaticians now in Biotechnica. And we are getting clients from US, UK, and we are running in crores from bioinformatics. We are picking up uh, bioinformatics projects, and then we are getting it done within Biotechnica. And that's the best part. Right. So how we could do it, all of that we're going to share in today's video, starting with a skill set. So what kind of skill set you require? So as a bioinformatician, obviously, you will know the skill set which you require. And that is uh, specific areas like genomics, proteomics, structural biology, mastering the tools such as Python, R, command line interfaces is very, very crucial. So that's that. Next thing is, see, all, all these tools, all these, you know, there are actually 23 plus bioinformatics tools as we speak. And th there are more newer tools coming up, right? So you have to keep yourself updated about bioinformatics, the tools and techniques in bioinformatics, and you have to keep innovating on how you do things, right? So that's where the first point was specializing in your niche areas, genomics, proteomics, not just a generalist, but a specialist, right? And uh, having a very good understanding of structural biology as well. So when you have all of this and when you showcase this to your clients, they will be impressed. And that's the first point of contact. So now that you have learned the expertise, the next uh, step will be, how do you get clients for yourself, right? So how do we get clients for ourselves? Very simple, LinkedIn. That's the first, okay? So create your LinkedIn profile, optimize it for bioinformatics. Somebody searches for bioinformatics professional or bioinformatics freelancers. Your profile should come on the top five. And then you have to enlist and highlight all the things which you have done in the past in bioinformatics, whatever projects you've done, whether it is AI, ML, Python, R, Java, whatever you have done, highlight it. Use the right hashtags. And then you go and connect with the right industry professionals, right? Find out who can be my potential client, right? Search in LinkedIn and create a connection. So when you connect uh, with a potential person, then yes, of course you can get it. Another trick which we have played is we go to trade shows, we go to a lot of foreign uh, events, we join them online or offline and then we connect, okay? We exchange business cards, we uh, actively network and then that brings project, right? So connecting with the industry professionals offline as well as online. And then you need to have a portfolio. So the portfolio should be online as well as offline. So for online, you can always create a website or something where you have enlisted all the things you have done in detail, case studies, about what kind of client you got and how did you do what you do did and what all things, challenges you faced and how did you overcome. So these things you have to showcase. And then you have to also have a hard copy portfolio if you're going for an offline trade show so that you can circulate it. So that helps you get uh, more clients and so it's like you showcase your successful projects the next client will come back and you know uh, come and hire you so that's where building your network is very very important remember uh, we say in hindi that that hathi ke daat khane ke aur dikhane ke aur so it's very important to have the marketing skill set as a uh, freelancer initial days when you are hunting for new client the next thing will be marketing yourself effectively so now that you have created your um, you know portfolio, you have uh, learned the skill set, it is very important to create a very strong online presence, whether it is a website, LinkedIn, uh, and highlighting your experience and your uh, 
testimonials from your clients whom with whom you have worked asking them to recommend you on linkedin it's very very important and then you can go to some freelancing websites like upwork where you can create a profile and you can take some small projects and start building your portfolio there as well so that you are reputed there and anybody searches on upwork you are in the top five you will be hired faster the next thing will be creating or and developing a competitive pricing strategy so many of you are unaware of this fact but the industry moves this way so when you get into the the um, you know freelancing business there'll be a lot of people who will also be doing the same thing right so suppose i have a bioinformatics project i want to give it to you i'll definitely inquire with 10 more people right and then whoever is giving me the right price and is able to negotiate with me in the right manner and seems to be a professional i'm going to give that project to you right so the same way you also need to find out what how much others are charging right and then you have to have a price point which is competitive and at any point in time your client should not feel that you are just one guy who is going to do it you should always showcase that you have a team or somebody along with you who is going to help you do the project that way you get uh, better uh, results now the next thing would be targeting the right client so many of you uh, are like okay whatever projects come let's take it so initial days you can do that but later on you have to always target the high ticket clients that's what we have been doing so if you target the high ticket clients if you have the strong portfolio and if you have networked and marketed yourself um, you know properly those big clients will keep coming and will keep giving you dollars and that's how you can earn crores in a year so say they came up with one project you finish in six months you charge something they are impressed next project they'll again come back to you so that's where it all comes down to be and you know you your uh, linkedin is the signature okay how you nicely design your linkedin is going to make all the changes next thing which i would like to talk here is again for the skill set so many of the bioinformaticians i have seen is they don't have strong skill set they do too much marketing they grab the project but they are not able to deliver in within the deadline because they themselves lack the skill set so if you are if you don't have the skill set you're not going to grow right so at biotechnica we also train not just we take up bioinformatics projects we also take up students who whom we who want to learn bioinformatics so we have a bioinformatics summer internship coming up we started the ai ml in drug discovery um, program from 15th of february and we also have a coding for biologist initiative so all this you can come to, you can uh, enroll in and you can learn bioinformatics and then whatever tips i gave you you can use it to gain maximum advantage now last things uh, which uh, which i would like to highlight here is remember any freelancing is tough you can't just grab a, get a client on day 1 you may not get any client on day 50 also but the way you keep building 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 the compounding effect takes into effect and then finally you start getting clients and there will be a big queue of clients but very important thing is when you start getting a lot of clients you have to be you have to stay organized you have to plan your day you have to make sure that you are meeting your deadlines otherwise that particular client will get annoyed and he will you know uh, move to someone else right so these are the pointers which i would like to highlight now what degree you should have i believe the degree doesn't matter as long as you have a bachelor's or a master's degree should be sufficient if, if you have a phd fair enough but at any point in time um, if you are failing in your freelancing business and you while you're trying to take it off you can always reach out to me for uh, some kind of consultation and i'll definitely guide you my email id is shaker at biotechnica.org and now for all those who are trying to learn bioinformatics who want to win over bioinformatics you can always join our course the art of freelancing learn the art of earning crores of rupees it's not that easy but once you get started step by step it becomes easy and that's what we have been doing at biotechnica today right now at this juncture i think we have 17 mega bioinformatics projects running uh, within our uh, portfolio and at the same time we have clients from i think uh, seven countries at, at this juncture for bioinformatics so we are earning in crores from bioinformatics and we want you to earn in crores from bioinformatics so you have to get started learn bioinformatics and then implement it keep shining i'll see you soon in the next one till then bye bye